Okay, so I was just telling my kids, it is actually really hard to make a video about recording a video because you sort of want to go all over the place. All right, so I'm going to give you a back scene tour of how I make my tutorials for my students. And my students vary in age, they vary in skill set, they vary in uh, their first language. English is not always their first language. Uh, they vary in location. And um, last year, I about six months ago, I went all online. So I've had to really um, understand and figure out and do some painstaking trial and error and research about how to educate online. And it is, it's tough because you have to anticipate not only do you have to, to teach step by step, but you have to anticipate questions and you sort of have to pull like a rabbit out of your hat with every single lesson to keep the kids engaged and to keep them wanting to like understand what you're saying and to not sort of go off screen and do, do a game or do something else or just leave entirely, right? Okay, so this is how I record. So. This is a picture of me, I'm in my office, and I have a little headset on, if you can see right there. It's a very cheap little microphone. I don't even know when I bought it. I think I bought it for one of my kids a million years ago. I think my husband bought it for one of my kids a million years ago. And I found it, and it's really useful. It's plugged into the side of my computer. Then I use a, um, a screen casting um, app. And so I go on to, I went on to my computer. I did not do this. I don't do this from my phone. I go, I go on to my Surface computer. So it doesn't matter if you have a Mac, you can still use this. And I go to Screencastify, right? And for a while, I was sort of fooling myself that maybe I could get away with the free plan, okay? And just record my screen for free. And that's really awesome and great if you have incredibly short videos that you're showing. Five minutes, okay? I am blowing past five minutes. I'm at 25 minutes, I'm at 30 minutes, I'm at 40 minutes. So what I did was I hunkered down and, and bought the $49 a year per person. Now, if you're a large organization, maybe you can negotiate this. If you're a teacher, Maybe you can negotiate this. I think that they do give student uh, teacher discounts and they do give uh, school discounts. So check that out. But since I'm an independent um, entrepreneur, I just coughed over the $49, which in the grand scheme of things and all the technology that I spend and waste money on, um, it's well worth $50. Okay. So I get um, some cool text features. I get to crop my videos. I get to split my videos. I get to merge videos and reorder the clips if I want to. Um, and it's just, it's, it's really well worth it, okay? So I have my Screencastify. I paid for it. I downloaded it. And then here is where it shows up in my uh, bar, my browser bar up here. So these are my tabs. This is my browser bar. So there's my little search bar. And here are some other tabs I have, and then there's Screencastify, okay? Now, all I do is click on it, and it asks me what I want to record. And when I tell it what I want it to record, it gives me this screen. So I hit the button. It literally, it is foolproof. Like, you cannot mess this up. It says, share your screen. Screencastify, screen video recorder, wants to share the contents of your screen. Choose what you'd like to share. I always pick your entire screen. And then if I want to crop it, say I just want to show this piece, I can do that when I'm editing after I'm done taking the video. So I always choose your entire screen. It just works for me. And then I hit share. Okay. So let's go back to where I am right now. Now, a lot of, and, and you can see right now I'm recording, I'm at four minutes and 30, 38 seconds, right? So I'm already almost at this five minute mark and I haven't really said a thing, okay? So I can record what's online. So I'm online right now. This is a website. I can also record, ba -ba -da, um, 
like a word document. So sometimes I tell, I, I write things out to my students and I record it just for giggles. And then maybe like I put some music behind it. So they're reading, hello there. If you're reading me, please log into Google Classroom. Please write a report on Albert Einstein and send it to me via Google Classroom. There are steps to follow. And then I can shoot over to my Google Classroom. So I go here, I go here, I go to my classroom, and I can show them, okay, in this uh, classroom, so this is just a fun little, um, I have loads and loads of little classrooms that I create, and this is a chore list, and I do this for um, tutorials all the time, so I'll make just these little classrooms, and I can walk through how I want the kids to what I want them to do, how they can post it, um, what who who's going to see it, what the grades are, what the stream is, and then they can make their little um, comments here, just so I can give them sort of a step by step about how to do what it is I'm asking them to do. Okay, so um, this is online. If I wanted to go to something that's not online, so if I wanted to go to my apps right here. So you see my computer screen. You can see there's Hudson. If I wanted to, I could be super naughty and record something on Netflix, which I am not suggesting. Um, I can go to look at all of the different apps I have that I can use, software back in the old days. So I go to apps. And let's say I want to make something cool for my boss. I want to show off my Excel sheets uh, skills. So I go into my Excel and I go over here and I say, ooh, look at me. I can do this, this, and this in Excel. And this is what I'm recommending to do. And this is all the different things I'm gonna do in Excel, blah, blah, blah. And I can record that in my screen share, okay? So I can record um, apps. I can record um, screens. I can record myself drawing something. So here I am, and I'm drawing a little flower. And this is all me, real time recording, okay? All right, let's say I am done, 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 done. How do I get this little movie and what do I do with it, okay? So I go to stop sharing if I'm in a, a little app. If I'm online, I can actually just go right here. And I can say, boop, or I can pause it and then begin again. All right, so in this case, I um, wanna keep recording because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna hit pause and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I am now, let's say I recorded, um, my tutorial that I wanted to do. I recorded it. It's fabulous. It's done. It's exactly what I want. Okay. I go into, it brings me to this um, screen where it is making automatically a copy in my Google Drive of what I just recorded on my screen, which is awesome. I love that. Then you have some ability over here to go to, um, to share it automatically to share it to your Google Classroom or to publish it to YouTube or to embed the code in a web page. I never do that. I always go into open in editor. Okay, and then you get these fun little like screens that say firing up, signing in. You see the editor beta here and it's been in beta for a long time. Loading your recording, ready to make some magic with our editor. This is a very simple um, video editor. This is not even as sophisticated as like a Microsoft Movie Maker, let alone a really sophisticated Adobe product or something like that. Okay, still waiting, still waiting. Okay, so here's what I just recorded. Now, do not get nervous. I was so nervous when I first bought this that um, look at how blurry my screen is. When you're done, when you're done recording, 
your screen is crystal clear, I promise. I don't know why it is so blurry when you're doing your editing and you're in, your, in the editor beta. Maybe when they get out of beta, it will be crystal clear in this. But it is very blurry, okay? Do not worry about it. Favorite things to do in the editor. Um, the first one is to cut. I make lots of mistakes. Let's see, I want to cut out this whole intro part right here. I am right down here at my screen, and this little line tells me how far I've gotten. So if I'm here, I'm at 440. See down here? If I go here, I'm at 345, 338. Here is I'm, I'm at 42 seconds. Now I'm at 729. Let's say I want to cut out two minutes of the first part of my video. Okay, so I click here and then I just go to cut. And looky, looky, there's now a big gap between the first two minutes of my video and the rest of my video, the last six minutes of my video. So I can just go right here and I can hit boop, delete, goodbye. And it is no longer there. Now my video is six minutes, right? Um, so I do that a lot, but again, try not to do it ad nauseum. And then if I don't like what I just did, I can hit undo. Um, um, another feature that I really like that I try to explain to my teacher friends and my clients is I, um, I love this crap. So if they want to highlight something on their screen, go ahead and crop it and then hit done. And it's nice and big on your screen then, okay? Look how nice and big that is. Now it's blurry in our editor beta, but it's gonna be nice and clear when um, the kiddos are watching it. Okay, now if I go forward though, look how big and distorted everything is. So I don't want that. So I can cut. And so I can have this piece be really super big. And then this piece, I can, um, I would go back and hit crop and then hit reset. And it would be like a normal size now and hit done. All right, just a little tippy, tippy for you.